Why did they do this? Why did they have to do this? They didn't have to do this. They chose to do this. You know who I'm talking about. You know exactly who I'm talking about. It's all over the damn news. Well, the gaming news, that is. It made Reddit history. I'm talking about EA, guys. They suck. We knew this for years. We knew. But we let this happen. We were excited. We got excited for this game they made. We assumed they were the good guys. They're never the good guys. They always do this. They are always on the forefront of putting shit in their games. The latest and the latest of shit. It's disgusting. All right? I'm talking about Battlefront 2, guys. What the f***? Okay, what the f***? That's, that, that's all I have to say. I'm happy that I didn't get excited for this game. I'm happy I didn't care. I'm happy that I saw the EA logo. Because I knew something like this would happen. I think we all subliminally knew, subliminally knew, that this would happen. But we still let it happen. I'm gonna take a step back here. We're gonna go back to the past. We're gonna go back to the past, and we're gonna look at a game that EA has not touched. We're gonna go look at the Star Wars Battlefront 2 from 2005, you know, the good one. F I remember that one of the worst scandals on video games back in the day was that single player is dying. I mean, some people still say that, but let's face it. Single player isn't going anywhere anytime soon, especially with the microtransaction laden loot box infested shit fest that was EA Battlefront 2. Am I surprised? No, EA's always been on the forefront of shady business tactics. Activision surprisingly might be taking the lead, but we're not talking about them today. EA is a developer's worst nightmare. If any developing company signs on with EA, you are essentially signing your own death warrant. Your game will be gutted like a fish and stuffed with piss, shit, cum, and whatever else they decide to stuff it with. Wait, wait, what, what? You don't... You don't believe me? You don't... You, 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 you're gonna believe me today, alright? You're gonna believe this. Believe this. Maxis, Mythic Entertainment, Bullfrog Productions, Origin Systems, Westwood Studios, DreamWorks Interactive, Phenomic, Black Box Games, Pandemic Studios, Ironic. Playfish, New FX, Victory Games, and Visceral Games, especially, especially f*** you on that one, EA. And soon, very soon, maybe in the next couple years, we'll be seeing Bioware and Respawn Entertainment, the creators of Titanfall. <sighs> Goodbye, Titanfall. We barely knew you. So yeah, just don't. EA will suck you in, mutate your work into some amalgamation, then spit you back out, shoot you in the head, yell bitch, and masturbate on your corpse because they get off on murder. Enough on that for now. I like to keep this channel relatively positive, which is why I try to avoid the controversies with the AAA market. I am aware they exist, but they're soul-sucking and I just don't have the patience to point it all out anymore. 2005 was a good year. Battlefront 2 came out, YouTube came out, Heelys. Man, I miss Heelys. I wish I still had a pair, you know? Rolling around on my heels and generally being cooler than you. Man, I miss being cool. Why is Battlefront 2 so good? Simple answer, it's fun. 
there's so much you can do. You can play the campaign and be a soldier of the 501st Legion under Skywalker, doing various missions until the fall of the Republic. Then you're a soldier of the 501st under Vader, working to serve this great empire. There are a number of classes to choose from, from a simple foot soldier to an engineer with a shotgun, a sharpshooter, heavy trooper, or even a jetpack trooper. And the special classes change depending on which side you're playing with. If you're with the Republic, you'll have the Clone Commander and the Jet Trooper. If you're with the Glorious Empire, you'll have the Imperial Officer and the Dark Trooper. If you're with the CIS Separatists, aka the Shitty Droids, you'll have the Magna Guard and the Droidica, the only deadly things in the CIS, FYI. And if you're a rebel scum, you have the dishonor of working with a both in Spy and a Wookiee. If the campaign isn't your thing, you can try the Galactic Conquest, aka the best game mode. You can choose from the four factions, Republic, CIS, Empire, or the Rebels, and you try to conquer the galaxy facing that faction's opposite. Most of the mode is fought on the ground on various planets, however, if two ships happen to be on the same point, you'll go into a space battle. A space battle's great, don't get me wrong, but they're all the exact same thing. Get in a ship, fly into the enemy hangar, and blow stuff up. There's no variation. You could take an hour and shoot all the weaknesses from outside the ship if you wanted, but that's not fun to me. Besides, that's all you could do on the PSP version, and I'm just burnt out on space battles. But hey, it is better than EA Battlefront 2 Space Battle. In Galactic Conquest, you don't get every class immediate. After a battle, you're awarded with credits. You get more if you happen to win. And these credits are used to unlock additional classes and power-ups. And these power-ups range from extra troops or ammo to having a hero appear in battle. You hear that, EA? You don't have to play 40 hours to play as Vader. Just 10 minutes at most. In fact, there's a mode completely dedicated to playing as heroes. It's called Hero Assault. And guess what, not only is there Vader, but there's Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie, Yoda, Mace Windu, Obi-Wan, pre-Vader Anakin, Jango Fett, Boba Fett, Grievous, Dooku, Maul, the Emperor, Ayla, Sekura, Kiai Mundi. I don't really know those last two, but they're here. All available within at most of 10 minutes of booting up the game. You can suck it, you can suck it, you can suck it, you can suck it, live long and suck it. And while we're on the topic of game modes, there's a good amount of them. Conquest, which is just domination. Take control of all of the command posts, hold them, or kill all enemy forces. One and two flag capture the flag, which is simply just capture the flag. The first team to however many points wins. And hunt, which is only available on specific planets like Hoth or Endor, for example. It's a faction versus the indigenous species of the planet, like the Wampas or Ewoks, Jawas. Geonosian bugs. And these modes are all customizable as well. You can set up a playlist of different games that you'd like to play on whatever planet you want, space battles included. You want to play Capture the Flag on the Death Star? You can play Capture the Flag on the mother Death Star. And quickly follow with a hero assault on Mos Eisley, Hunt on Hoth, and Conquest on Mustafar. And those aren't the only planets either. You can play on whatever fucking planet you want. Hell, you can play on an asteroid. And the best part is, multiplayer is back. You know, I'm happy it came out this way. I'm happy Battlefront 2 came out the way that it did. Because I think that it's about time. I think it's about fucking time that EA learns that you can't continually screw over your consumer base expecting millions of dollars for cow shit. Cause that's what, that's what Battlefront 2 is. Battlefront 2 is cow shit. It's disgusting. It's insulting. It is insulting. What the f You know what we're gonna do? What I'm gonna do? And I hope you do? F*** it. F*** em. F*** EA. F*** EA. F*** em. With a big rubber dick.
Thank you everybody for watching my review on EA as a Company and Battlefront 2. Good one. If you liked it, you know what to do. It really does help me out a lot by putting these videos up on any search results. And while you're at it, comment why you hate EA and subscribe to keep up with any future videos. My name is Dante and I'll see you all in a new video.